buying a home is a trap. They just want to make you think it's a good idea. I literally heard this the other day and it got me thinking with the data, history, and track record of real estate as a very real path to wealth, why are so many people still so skeptical? Is buying a home a trap? I truly do not believe so. And I know there's gonna be some of you that just immediately discount that because I'm in the business of real estate. So let's break it down with data and facts and not just my opinion. How does owning real estate bridge the gap on wealth? The simple answer is equity. This is the difference between what you owe on your house and what you can sell it for. An example could be a house that was purchased for $250,000. After a number of years, two things have been happening. First, the value of the home has increased. And second, as you've been paying your monthly mortgage, the debt or the amount of money owed on the house has dropped. On that particular house, if what's left on your mortgage is $175,000 and tomorrow you could sell it for $300,000, the equity is $125,000. This is your main tool. That $125,000 is what's going to get you into your next house. Without that, it would be near impossible to save the same amount of money in the same amount of time. I told you there would be data. Here's your first fact. Since Q1 of 1991 to Q1 of 2024, home values have tripled. On average, they've gone up 315.7%. That's like a $250,000 home in 1991, now being worth $789,250. And that's just the average. Some areas have seen more than that, some have seen less. In Florida, we've seen an average price increase of 459.42% since 1991. And remember, that still includes the crash of 2008. The point is, is that if you hold something longer, the value is gonna increase more and more over time. I think one of the biggest misconceptions right now is that you have to buy the big house, the dream house, the perfect house first. No, you just have to buy a house. I have done examples in my videos of renters versus buyers, and it always comes down to equity. Property values increase over time, period. Now, it's not always consistent. It's not always the same. There is an ebb and a flow, but the trend for housing values is generally up and to the right. Florida Realtors only lets me go as far back as 2008, but look at the average sales prices from then until now. There were dips along the way, but overall the values are up. I also believe that bad things can happen to really good people. You can lose a job, somebody could have medical issues, or some sort of life circumstance that keeps you from paying for your house and maybe ultimately losing it. We don't even have to go back 20 years to see a time that was really scary in real estate. However, we can also look back on a number of examples and instances where owning real estate has made all the difference. I have a customer right now. They bought a two bedroom townhome five years ago. Now they're selling that property and they're using the equity to put as a down payment on a larger three bedroom house. Owning real estate is a tool whose value I believe cannot be understated. I know, I can, I can see the comments already. Oh wow, another realtor trying to sell houses. There's a lot of us agents out there and sadly, not every single one of them is gonna have your best interest at heart. But my passion is helping people build wealth through real estate. And you just cannot do that as a renter. According to an article from Keeping Current Matters, Every three years, the Federal Reserve Board releases the Survey of Consumer Finances, SCF. The report covers the difference in net worth for both homeowners and renters. Spoiler alert, the gap between the two is significant. The average net worth of a homeowner versus a renter is almost 40 times greater. Let's also be fair. 
The value for most homeowners is wrapped up in the house, so they're not gonna be able to access it unless they sell the property or refinance it and pull out cash. I'm not saying that the average homeowner has stacks and stacks of cash 40 times greater than the average renter just sitting in the bank, but what they do have is a tangible asset that they can leverage. When you rent, you have the freedom and flexibility to just pack up and move but you don't get any wealth building financial benefit from it. If you have the ability to buy a property, do it. And do it sooner rather than later. Time is your friend in real estate. Just ask anybody who bought a house in 1991 and still owns it. Is buying a house a trap? It's not a trap. It's an opportunity to put your monthly payment to good use. If you rent, you're paying your landlord's mortgage. Why not pay your own? I think it is oftentimes a bit of a mindset shift in real estate. We are spoiled with HGTV and million dollar listing, but that's not how you start and build wealth. You just start by finding the right strategy to help you get to your next home. I'm Lindsay Johnson, your resource for all things real estate. See you next time.